Hello everybody. Today I want to show you more progress from the Cycroft server. So um, at the moment I am in our main storage uh, where we have our big item sorter. So we have uh, a yeah, sorter for every stackable item in the game except mob pets I think. Yeah, but I don't really produce them uh, at the moment. Um, yeah, we have at the moment uh, the main sorter. Then we also have a, a small furnace array with 24 furnaces. Uh, non-stackable non -stackable item sorter, some small big flower farms and yeah, cocoa bean farm and over there we have a brewing system. Uh, it's semi-automatic so yeah, you could choose the ingredients you want and make the potion that you want. So yeah, this selector was done by TangoTech so basically that's the selector from TangoTech and I made a system that it works faster with five uh, brewing stands. Uh, and yeah, here's a little bulk storage. Okay, but uh, we've shown that already in the server tour and uh, we've added a new wing uh, for future expansion. Um, yeah, there's not too much yet, so uh, our big map is here. Then I left it open with just yeah, to have space for in the future and I added the red sand converter I showed a while ago. So this is very easy. You would aim at the fifth block in the row, which is barely possible in game at zero, but yeah, it's possible. Then you place a red uh, yellow sand and it converts it into red sand. Yeah, and this is his instant, so uh, it doesn't slow down at all. Uh, it works perfectly, you would get about 18,000 red sand power. We have a little problem at the moment with this system on the server. Uh, with server lag, um, it could get stuck at the moment. So it didn't really have found a way uh, around that problem. It's quite annoying, so can't AFK for a long time here. And yeah, the error is really lag dependent. So single player tested it for 30 minutes, it works perfect, but in the server sometimes we have a lag spike and then the bot detector gets jammed, so the sand is detected by that piston here. Oh yeah, uh, you don't also you don't need to fill your inventory, so you always get 5 sand from the dropper here. And yeah, the red sand is transported here. Okay, so yeah, at our big map, the overview, so that those are uh, 1024 times uh, 1024 maps. Um, yeah, Should we need to make nine more, but we already can see uh, the main project I want to show today. Um, so this here is our uh, old ice farm and the big square at the top is our new ice farm that I want to show you today. And yeah, th that's our um, spawn area with the mushroom farm. Uh, that's the big mob farm uh, with the guardian farm below. Um, yeah, this is the perimeter for... Uh, I don't know to spoil it yet, what, what's it for? <laughs> and here's the witch farm, so those are the main projects. Oh yeah, and this is the netherbot farm, the big square. Okay, so let's head over to the new ice farm I want to show you. So this is about 3000 blocks away, but with the piston bolts that we built, it's no problem at all. So let's go to the nether hub. And yeah, we added a new piston bolt line to the new ice farm. So it's, yeah, ice seam. Oh, gas spawn top, it's no problem. Okay, that's how you cover 3000 blocks distance very quickly. It's only <laughs> I really love those piston bolts. And here we are at the new ice farm. So yeah, let's get on top to get an overview fir first. So here you can see it, it's huge. So yeah, it's not really complicated. It's kind of similar to uh, our big netherwood farm. So you would travel in those water lines uh, with a silk touch pick and would just pass those uh, ice lakes 
and mined ice. Then if you uh, yeah, pa uh, passed it, then there are always those pressure plates on top of um, the ice. So those pistons would get down and yeah, the water uh, refreshes. Uh, so you get new water sources for new ice to uh, to cr be created. Okay. Yeah, and it's that huge because obviously it takes a while for ice to melt. So it takes about 50 minutes to travel to, uh, through all uh, this AFK farm. And when you're back at the start, about 95% of the ice has uh, refrozen. Um, so you would mine four ice in a row, which is uh, the maximum possible. And you would get about um, 12,000 ice per hour. So, yeah, that's quite good. We already have a lot of chests filled with ice here. Been AFKing a few hours here. And yeah, it's perfect. Um, the last uh, stuff I showed from the server was our perfect villager, and it comes quite handy now uh, because we need the unbreaking 3, efficiency 3, select touch 1 pickaxes which we can buy now from our perfect toolsmith. So this is perfect. <laughs> I have uh, some dispensers in there uh, which are filled with those pickaxes. So you would pass those droppers, activate them with a pressure blade and they are at the uh, head height because if you would have it at the lower height there's a hopper minecart inside of the ice which would immediately pick up the uh, silk touch pick so it has to be too high and every time you run out of a silk touch pick you get a new one so uh, and with those stations um, in total five times which are filled with those perfect pickaxes uh, for that use okay I guess I'll show you the farm um, in a time lapse. So yeah, I guess I'll do one cycle and let's take a look at that. Thank you. 
Okay, back from the time lapse, and there's two things I also want to talk about. Uh, as you saw, if you grab the ice blocks with minecarts, and they have an unloading station uh, transported in those chests. So yeah, we have enough ice by now, so we get uh, 12,000 ice blocks per hour while AFKing in here. That's yeah enough for us. And yeah, take off shoes, so you can't use your Death Strider boots in there because they slow you down on the ice, so that decreases the rates and also you won't make it uh, past those pressure plates. So let's go in there and as you can see with the depth strider boots you don't go over there. So take those off, see it was faster and then you make it into the next water. And also what's important is that the player is aligned with those trapdoors. So if you look in the F3 screen and uh, take a look at the set value uh, at uh, point 0.512 um, which is enough to reach the last um, ice block so the fourth ice block so now that I'm at, at 4, 60 or 50 so that, that's 5 centimeters to less so 5, 12 is 1.2 centimeters uh, inside of the range that will also work. work. Oh no, it doesn't. So, yeah. Point uh, 512 is just enough uh, that you could reach the last ice block. And it's uh, far enough that you don't uh, pick up ice blocks. So, if you would be pressed against the wall here, there's a chance that you would pick up an ice block. And if you would pick an ice block in the moment when, you, um, when your pick is broken, and yeah, there's a chance if you don't fill it up with other ice blocks in inventory that you get a ice block in your yeah, first slot and then you can't pick up any more new pickaxes and yeah, you were stuck with the ice block and you would AFK for nothing. So yeah, that's why you're um, aligned with the, those um, trapdoors. Okay, that's the ice farm. So. Let's put the... Oh, there's already one in there. Yeah, never mind. Okay, then over there I also built uh, another snow farm uh, as usual. There's an item distribution system under the snow golems and it can pick up 40 items per second. So you would mine about 30 snowballs per second. So uh, you don't have to worry about uh, snowballs clogging the system it can handle even more items yeah and we use uh, iron shovels and they are yeah dispensed by you by droppers which are under those uh, slabs and we have four of those snow golems in there because you notice sometimes a snow golem wouldn't uh, generate a new uh, ice uh, snow pad and yeah with snow four snow golems the chance is lower that it would uh, only uh, use a single uh, snow pad. So yeah, that's why we have four of those in there. And yeah, the shovels are enough for 90 minutes of AFKing. And also this huge storage is also just enough for 90 minutes of AFKing. That's about 200 double chests and it fills up in 90 minutes or something, or 100 minutes, something like that. And yeah, then we can craft it. Uh, crafting benches are here and then just throw it in the water and it will be transported to those other chests here. So yeah, we also have a lot of snow by now, I think like 20 double chests of snow blocks, so that's enough. <laughs> yeah, so that's our new ice and snow farm. That's uh, all I got uh, uh, for updates from the Cycraft server. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day and goodbye.